Hello, namaste. Ninja Dan here. I'm just hanging out my shop. Watching the FedEx trucks roll by. And there's a lot of trucks out there all over the world, over the America, driving. You would avoid semis, that's for sure, on the highway. You better avoid semis. They got a job to do, and people are getting a little stir crazy these days. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that you're going a little stir crazy. I know this doesn't really affect the people that really like my stuff, but because they understand, you know, consciousness, awareness, love and kindness. I think majority of people, my people that like my stuff, like the same thing as I like. So, but for the people that are just starting out and want to find a way to find balance, you got, you know, to sit a little more. And I'm sorry, you gotta sit a little more. I haven't really talked much about this, but I have a little bit, but. You have to sit a little more. I'm sorry. I mean, like, you can't go out in public yet. I mean, you can. You can do what you want. And I don't like to throw out those type of things. I'm not a control freak, you know. I'm just trying to help you with your mind. The mind of focus, attention, loving kindness, peace, tranquility. That's all. It's nothing. It's not a system. It's not a religion. Okay, <laughs> even when I talk about religions, I like religions. I think all religions are special. I think you're special. If you want to be special, right? Everybody wants to be special. Everybody wants to be heard. It's important to love everyone as much as you can right now. Give out love, hugs. I give hugs to the tree over there because sometimes I don't have family members around me there. But I just put my intention, I put the memory of perception of my sister and my brother and my my, my, uh, cous my uh, cousins and aunts and uncles and grandparents and uh, mom and dad and, and my nephews and nieces. Actually, yeah, I have one niece. What I do is I go out there, that tree, and I hug it tight. I send my suffering of that, you know, that, that ha you know, the suffering. We all have suffering. We're all human beings. I go out there and hug that tree, and I just go, I love you. I love y'all. I really love you a lot. I miss you. And I just... You know, it's just, you know, a tree, it's just like so special, you know. You put that memory in there and this tree just takes all that. Oh, it just feels so good when you hug a tree. It's just like, you just draws that intention out, you know, that pain. And then you're, the tree can take your suffering. It can take millions of people suffering that just one, that one tree. It gives you life and love. It gives you oxygen to breathe. Yeah, it's just, that's how it is, you know. You go out there with the intention to hug the whole world. In golden light, you can sit and meditate for a half an hour, 20 minutes. Cover yourself in this golden light energy after your meditation. You know, your hands are just like pounding of this energy, of manic energy. You're sitting there and just feeling that love of golden energy supercharge yourself and you go up to that tree and you go this is my transmitter and you just hug it and then it sends that energy out there to the world that, with your intentions the intentions of oh you know of that it's like you know it's like it's like one of those emojis that you you know or one of those pokemons that you play pokemon go and you touch it Go, ding, like that little thing it's like that and it shoots up and it's all this energy you know you know that you send this energy and transmit this energy into the into the 
you know, the roots, into the trunk, into the branches, into the leaves, and just all this energy. You made this tree actually a connection of you. A connection, the tree's connected to you. You feel like you're like embedded in the tree, like you're like part of the tree. Like you're, like you're not a body anymore. You're just like the tree, the soul, like it's the soul. The life force energy is now in the tree. Like your life force energy is the tree. It's so strong and has all love and it goes out and it heals the world towards your intention. Just imagine everybody doing that or, or a, a collective conscious of energy. Just everybody wakes up every morning meditates and hugs a tree after their practice with gold line energy just that would be like amazing so and it's a way to heal yourself really well it has oxygen it has the the properties the building blocks of life in it hugging that thing will heal your cancer your your, your body from feeling you know, mentally, physically, emotionally crappy. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's great. Just throw my hair up like that. I'm almost there. <laughs> kind of like my hair. I don't think I cut it for one bit. Kind of like this MacGyver haircut. I do like it. I'm actually starting to enjoy it. Stay safe. Make sure you sit just a little bit longer don't be uh creating mass hysteria or violence please i haven't seen a lot of people provoke people from all sorts of stuff it's uh it's suffering and i when it's suffering you don't need to provoke suffering on others please doesn't matter what topic it is, please. You don't need to provoke people. It's not the belief of your religion, okay? To provoke others <laughs> towards any topic, okay? That's the wrongful perception of life. It's nothing to do with peace and salvation. So you need to be humble and respectful towards others or you're gonna suffer. And you suffer, you will. If you put yourself in that type of point of view, that type of perception, the type of attitude, you're going to suffer. And the people that are awakened from the awakening stage of suffering, you don't want to provoke them towards suffering, please. Let them, let me, let them be, please. Because... Um, it's like this, it's like a fine line. Once a person has suffering, they have guilt, they have sadness, and you don't want to push them overboard towards suicide. You want them to hold on. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm not projecting this into a negative way. You need to let people be. Stop projecting on them, you know? Just let it be because you need to let it process that it's like making a cake you want that cake to be you know or like let's say like a flower you want that flower to bloom and not be you know not bloom and it's only halfway there or whatnot or it didn't make it you want it to you know you want that lotus flower to bloom perfectly and letting it open up you know you know with loving kindness let's, let's just, just do that okay loving kindness you gotta let people be you can't the more they suffer the more it's gonna turn the tide on you just a little bit and eventually you know they have awakening and when you have awakening, you go through the symptoms of awakening, and then you have 
enlightenment after awakening. But you gotta let it be. You, gotta, you can't just torture people to death. They're human beings. I don't care if it drives you towards what they want you to not believe in. Everybody has belief. And this is like a belief, but you know, you gotta understand it's a numbers thing too. We all have universal universal codes. My the date the day of it of birth code the birth number universal universal code universal code a little cold out here you have to be respectful because everybody's code doesn't always match up to its time to be awakened so it might not be awakened. I'm sorry, you can't provoke people knowing that they're they're going to be awakened. Awakening doesn't happen for everybody in this time. It might happen in a big number of people this time. We might set the boundaries towards the golden era. We're not surely not going to be living it. The golden age might reach in a thousand years where we gotta avoid war with other human beings we gotta avoid hatred and a lot of suffering and dysfunctioning things even me living in here I've, you know it's dysfunction you know, it's, I I'm not perfect okay and I think people need to say that I'm, they're not perfect everyone on this planet it's got to say some phrases towards these things and put in perspective you're not perfect I'm not perfect I'm, I'm not perfect I'm sorry I have love for myself and others but I'm not perfect all right you have to put some contents into stuff and not be frustrated and fixated and, and angry and upset towards situations You can't process all that either. It's a waste of time. It's um, it brings you to negativity and frustration. It makes you suffer, okay? And I'm not the only one, <laughs> okay? That has gone through a lot. Doesn't matter, you're rich or poor. If you suffer, you suffer. And you gotta find a way to end the suffering in the correct way. In the correct way. You gotta find a true understanding to help you conquer your suffering. And you're not going to provoke and pick on people. It's not gonna make you, it's not gonna make you end your suffering. It's gonna add more towards the suffering. Okay, you can't just attack somebody knowing that that emotion you did to somebody, you know, is gonna bounce back on you. It's gonna bounce. It's gonna back. It's gonna. It's just the vibration that bounces back on you because you set it. You set the intention into the into the collective energy source. And now it's bounced back on you. After they felt it, you might get an expression back. You might get a comment back. And that comment keeps leading. And you're both wrong. You're both wrong. I'm wrong. And you're wrong. You cannot keep on doing this. This will lead to mass suffering. You need to find a way to end the system that you're a part of. Just you. You need to cut it off, shut it off, and say no more. You don't say, I got the last words, you know, you're 
and ha ha, I'm going bye bye now. You just come back and feed it again. You'll feed the monkey mine again. You can cut it off. That takes willpower. But does it take does it take willpower to believe in your faith of God towards knowing that that perception that you're projecting towards that what he would say is wrong and you're doing it and you think it's right you're doing it right because you think it's right but the Lord and Savior thinks it's wrong you know it's wrong from his perception so why do it takes willpower Six willpower. Anyways, catch you later.